Should you get 8GB or 16GB of RAM when choosing a laptop? This is a question that I get asked quite often. So today we're going to investigate this and find out the answer together. I think this is particularly important if you plan to use the laptop for gaming purposes. Most high-end RTX gaming laptops come with at least 16GB of RAM pre-configured these days. You would find it quite rare to find an RTX 2060 with only 8GB of RAM when shopping for a gaming laptop. However, at the entry price points, with a GTX 1050, 1650, or even a mid-range card like the 1660 Ti, it's not unusual to find resellers selling those machines with a single 8GB of system memory. For this test, I will be using an Asus TUF FX505DU gaming laptop with a 1660 Ti graphics card to make sure that the overall system is not bottlenecked by the GPU. This laptop comes with an AMD R7 3750H CPU, 512GB of SSD, and 16GB of RAM in an 8x2 configuration for dual channel setup. I will be testing all games in the highest graphical settings with a native benchmark program, in 1080p mode, and with VSync turned off. After the first run, I will remove one 8GB memory stick, and do the same test again with only a single 8GB memory. Making this test take a lot of time, effort and money to do it. So if you find the content useful, a simple like on the video would be massively appreciated for a tiny channel. And now let's see the results. The first game I tested was Assassin's Creed Odyssey. This game is quite a resource hog, and the developer recommends a minimum of 8GB of RAM to even play this game. We have the 8GB system on top, and 16GB on the bottom. 16GB averages 42fps, while the 8GB only manages 31fps. That is a massive 26% decrease in performance, and barely makes the game playable at the higher settings. A lot of the decrease in 8GB comes from the loss of dual channel, which significantly impacts the performance. If you observe the top section of the video, you can see how the 8GB makes the game stutter quite a bit, and not very enjoyable to play. The 16GB on the other hand, is more smooth in the rendering of frames, and not as choppy as the single channel 8GB. Next game up is Batman Arkham Knight. There isn't as big a difference in this game compared to Assassin's Creed. However, the average system FPS was still around 10% slower when I removed one 8GB memory module. You can see in the top left corner that in order to accommodate for this loss, the CPU has to work harder as well to keep up, resulting in more power draw and affecting the battery life as well. Next up is Deus Ex Mankind Divided. This game saw the least difference in average frame rates across all the games I tested. Only a 5% loss for the 8GB version but it was still trading behind the 16GB dual channel config, and also using up a lot more of the CPU. So far, we have only tested action-adventure games and action RPGs. Let's try a racing game and see how it goes. F1 2018, developed by Codemasters, usually gets quite high frame rates, even with mediocre hardware. But here we can see that the single 8GB memory is falling behind the 16GB dual channel config by 16%. Now, 76 FPS is still quite good and very much playable, but the difference between 8GB single channel and 16GB in dual channel is not quite obvious. Moving on to Far Cry 5, we have our first first person shooter game. The 8GB managed to get a respectable average of 60 FPS. But the 16GB again was able to increase that to 71fps, which is around 18% gain, despite both configs showing very similar system usage. Shadow of the Tomb Raider, using the game's built-in benchmark, I got 52fps for the 8GB, and 62fps for the 16GB. This translates to a 19% difference. And again, we can observe that both systems is maxing out the GPU usage, but the 8GB version is taking up more CPU resource versus 16GB.
Last up, we have a turn-based real-time strategy game in Total War 3 Kingdoms. The difference here between 8GB and 16GB is smaller, but still, the 16GB edges out the 8GB again, this time with a 13% performance difference. To conclude this test, it's safe to say that the more RAM you have, the better, at least to a certain extent, before you start to get diminishing returns for your investment. I think 16GB is the way to go in 2020, if you want to maximize the experience from those AAA titles. RAM is also not that expensive. Just make sure to get the correct ones for your laptop if you are considering to do an upgrade. With that said, if you are running on a certain budget and absolutely don't want to spend more money on RAM, then my recommendation would be to at least look into the spec sheet to get the 4x2 memory configuration so you can get that increased performance benefit from a dual channel setup. That's all for this video. Don't forget to hit that like button. Also consider to subscribe to the channel. It doesn't cost you anything, and you will be updated with more tech videos like this one. See you next time on the GenX Reviews channel.